let's examine here a simple law of motion if i were to ask you what is acceleration you know acceleration is always equal to change in velocity over a change in time if velocity changes over a given period of time an object is moving you will have this if there is no change in the velocity you cannot have acceleration how can you write this in a different way you can say change in velocity or change in time will give you a certain acceleration if i were to push this on the other side i'm looking here at dv is equal to a dt now I'm focusing on two variables, velocity and time. If I were to integrate these two variables, I'm looking here at for a given experiment, velocity, it would have been an initial velocity and a final velocity. Likewise, with regards to time, I would have had a initial time, time zero, and a final time, I'll just put t. When you integrate your variables, what do you have? In terms of velocity, the velocity variable will come out, and you'll have a vf and a vo. With respect to time, you'll obviously have your time variable come t and a zero. You put the upper limit, the lower limit, and the difference of the two and see what happens. You have here a vf minus vo. Initial is being subtracted from your final. Final velocity minus initial velocity is equal to at because zero coming here is meaningless. Solve for vf. What will you have? Your final velocity is equal to your initial velocity plus acceleration times time. And you know this to be a kinematic equation. This right here is a law of motion. You can use this for many of your kinematic calculations. Now, what we've done over here is just basically derive it, and it's a simple procedure.